Hello, welcome to UMEDSAT and this how-to session. My name is Jochen Kerkmann, I am training officer at UMEDSAT and this, what you see here, is my office. The topic of today is how to detect and monitor low clouds and fog in satellite images. I've prepared some examples for you. So the first case is a daytime situation over northern Italy and the Alps. You can see this is a METOP AVHR image in the morning. Uh, and it's a day microphysics RGB image, which gives colors for different features. So the low clouds in the, no in the northern Po, po Valley can be seen by this whitish-yellowish color, which is a freezing fog situation. The Alps are pretty cloud-free and very cold and snow-covered. You see that in this pinkish color. Uh, some details, uh, of course, can be seen. We have a high-resolution high one-kilometer image here over North Italy, and some holes in the clouds can be seen here in northern Italy. These holes are related to either mountain areas or to larger cities. Now for the same situation we also have a cloud product, which is the next image that you see here, that shows you the cloud type product. Uh, in color is the low level clouds orange or yellow, and the snow over the Alps is a pinkish color here. So you can toggle the image and the product and you see they both more or less show the same information of the fog situation in northern Italy. This was freezing fog, as I said before, you see that in these ground pictures taken from northern Italy, branches and leaves are covered with ice. Now, this morning situation is quite detailed, but it has a disadvantage of not showing the development of the low clouds. So for this, you need a Meteosat animation that gives you the higher details in the time development. So let me open that animation for you. The animation is from January 2012 and it's a full two-day animation of Meteosat 24-hour microphysics RGB. So in this 24-hour micro RGB, uh, cloud-free ground is uh, pinkish color. Low-level clouds have a yellowish to greenish color here in northern Italy. And high-level clouds are either dark blue to black as thin high clouds or red as thick high clouds. And you can see there is a number of high clouds also in that uh, situation. However, you can, the most important thing, the development of the low clouds during daytime, it dissolves a bit and during the night it reforms again and covers the whole Po Valley. And later during the animation, the lower clouds get covered by the higher level clouds from the frontal system. In the second case, I would like to show you a different region and different situation from more northern Europe. And I open a Meteosat image for the North Sea area, here in the middle. This is a visible image at high resolution during the morning hours. And all the North Sea is covered with kind of sea fog and stratus. Some of England and Denmark is also covered by fog. Low clouds and fog are whitish, but snow is also whitish in this situation. So to help us with the distinction of these two features, we can move to the RGB products. Here is the day microphysics again, like in the previous case, which shows snow here in reddish color and low clouds in yellow to green color. In this situation, if I toggle, you see the two images, the visible image and the RGB product, we can access some extra features over the North Sea, which are ship trails, by moving ships that uh, produce these lines here in the middle of the North Sea. For this case, we also have an animation. It's again the 24-hour microphysics RGB product, which you have already seen before in the Northern Italy case. Now we are in Northern Europe. It's a three-day animation. You can see the name and the time is running here on the bottom. Uh, fog and low clouds are greenish colors and you can see we are able to monitor the fog during day and night time in its movement inland and dissolving during daytime again here in this situation. It's a very useful product for meteorological forecasters because they need to know where the fog is to do the exact forecasting. I would like to show you a third case, this time not from Europe but from Asia. Recently Humansat has moved the Metosat 8 satellite to the Indian Ocean. And this satellite is now monitoring large parts of Asia and the Indian Ocean. So here we have a forecase from uh, India, uh, which you can see in this image. I put it full screen, uh, with already the interpretation on it. You will probably already recognize the greenish color of the low clouds and fog here in northern India and the more pinkish color of the warm cloud-free land. You can also see moisture boundaries, thin zeros and other features 
and this image. So for this image, I will show you another comparison here, which shows the infrared image on the left side of India and the RGB product on the right side. And what you can see that at night time, there is very little information in a single infrared Im image, which doesn't show where the low clouds are, are. And on the right side in the RGB product and also in the derived products, you can see where the low clouds are. In Northern India is, is quite famous for having severe fog during winter time. The situation here from December 2016 is shown here in the Metasat 8 animation. During night time, the night microphysics RGB product is shown here and you can see how the fog area grows. Then the sun is coming and during daytime the whole fog area is shrinking again. And this repeats and during winter for many days in northern India. So monitoring day and night time with a good transition here in these two RGB products. Case number four is from northern Japan, which you can see here on the screen. Hokkaido Island here is the northern part of Japan and Tokyo must be somewhere here in the south. On the left side we have the visible imagery, on the right side infrared. Synchronous running here on the two screens and clouds can be seen, but it's hard to distinguish the types of clouds. High level, mid level and low level clouds can be seen, but we don't know actually which is which. For this, we have to move to the RGB products or other derived products to see the cloud types. The same situation seen in two RGB products on the right side, the night microphysics, and you see the low level clouds here at the beginning in greenish colors. And on the left side, the true color RGB, not yet shown to you, where you see the daytime development of fog. So with these two RGB products combined on the screen, you have the perfect monitoring of low clouds at nighttime on the right and daytime on the left. Now we are moving to another location and that's the last example we have for you. It's from North America. It's a so-called conus area of the United States. And what you see here is an animation at five minute frequency of the night microphysics RGB of GOES-16, the most recently launched geostationary satellite, which also has all the channels needed to create RGB products. In green color, again, the low clouds uh, over North America. You see them here even over Texas, a bit more subtle. And also here in the Appalach Mountains, where you have river valley fog, which can be actually quite dangerous. And then a lot of stratus formation here in the Midwest in greenish colors. At the same time, you see again the high clouds in reddish colors or dark bluish colors with the, related to this jet stream over North America. You also see other features. It's kind of wells of information that is combined into this RGB image, which helps the forecaster to monitor all cloud types, not only low clouds. The main application is here the low, low cloud detection, but you can use it for also mid and high level clouds. So thank you for watching. You have seen several cases of fog monitoring in Europe, in Asia and in North America, different cases, daytime and nighttime monitoring. What you may have seen is that I've shown you examples that were four cases over several days where we need the, the continuous monitoring during day and night time which is now possible with the multi-channel geostationary satellites that we have. So the biggest improvement compared to the older satellites is that we can see the low clouds at night time. Thank you very much for watching this short how-to session on low cloud detection and monitoring. I hope you liked it. If you have questions please email us at ops at umedsat.int and you can also watch other fog and low cloud examples on our webpage, either in the training library or the image library, which you can also see real time images of the same I've shown to you on our webpage. Thank you very much. Bye bye.